<laughs> welcome back to Feral Art, or welcome to Feral Art. How you doing? Mm. Um, today we have a, an Artist Loft 24 by 24 level 3 canvas. And I am going to try doing a funnel pour, pearl pour, funnel pearl pour <laughs> thing. And I'm using my Nate's, Nate Bright Arts uh, Pouring Medium, which is two parts flow trawl, one part liquid gloss varnish, liquid text gloss varnish, and one part Elmer's School Glue. Um, let's see, and my colors are, what did I use here? Uh, Chroma Krill White uh, with we have here some uh, Vallejo Pearl Medium and a little bit of um, uh, oh my god my brain you guys a little bit of satin enamels <laughs> um, also have liquid dioxazine purple I have Amsterdam permanent red violet I have Amsterdam Azo Orange, Azo Orange, Amsterdam Azo Yellow, and this little piggy Grenache. Should be interesting. I have my funnel, and uh, I think that's it. So let's get down on the canvas. I've got kind of a crazy setup today because. I'm using my new spinner from Erica Hughes Art, which is very exciting. So let me get this thing turned around and I'll set up and I'll be right back. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do less even here I think so okay so for a 24 by 24 inch canvas you need about 21 ounces of paint so I have probably 15 ounces in here and I'll make up the rest with the colors so first thing I'm gonna do is pour my puddle y'all I'm nervous I did paint my sides and edges white because I was talking to Mina and I said, well, I feel kind of silly painting my sides and edges white because I'm using white and it's white. And, and she said, yeah, but the paint on the sides and edges gives the paint something to cling to so you don't end up with that weird um, sort of fragmented looking side. So I said, okay, so I'll paint them. So yay for me, here we go. The scary part. Sit that down there. And we're just gonna apply our paint. And hope this does not go dreadfully awry. Oops, I want this. going to be kind of dirty because they're so thin. This 
this Grenache is a little thicker than the rest. I didn't really plan that, but that's how she's working out. I you breathe that healthy breath. I know it's all of you that I get. One bedroom flat. I lock the door and put that photo of her on the floor. Been here for hours. It's getting dark. And we did everything and nothing at all. And I should leave. Cause this is bad. Your hands make up for the love we don't have Separate and crossing over myself isn't easy. Ah. <sighs> okay, here we go. That's ugly. Sit that off in my trash can and see if I can remember to get it. Alright, let's outline this with some white. God knows we ought to have plenty of paint on here. This is probably going to go everywhere. Alright, so now I have to move things a little. Given my paint time to do some things here. Good Lord. So we're just gonna give this. I was gonna cover up my brand new spinner to keep it pretty, but you know what? I didn't. Oh well. Give me something better. 
right corners. I've had it with you. I'm going to scoop up some of this paint and we'll stick it on these corners. So it'll hopefully pull the paint off. to torch yet again and I'm gonna leave this to sit for a little bit and then I'll come back with y'all for a close-up how's that okay 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 here are the wet results of my funnel Pearl pour. I don't think that anyone can argue that there aren't enough pearls. Good Lord, y'all. Uh, yeah, we got them. We got the pearls. Um, hmm. This, I think, is going to be one of those where I reserve judgment until it's dry. I mean... We got crazy pearls. I love that little streak of yellow in those pearls. That's cool. But, wow. I don't... Whoa. I did not expect so many. I love these little jellyfish pearls. I think they are so cute. Most of them, however... And maybe it's the satin enamels that I stuck snuck in there. I put... I think... Two ounces of Chroma Curl White, an ounce and a half of Vallejo, and a half ounce of Satin Enamel and with Nate's Pouring Medium. I love these ones that are close to the middle where you get a lot of color. Not so sure about the rest. It may be really super cool when it dries. I don't know. Uh, right now, like I said, reserving judgment. Um, definitely did not fail in the pearl department, though. Definitely did not fail there. And I love the spinner, and the cleanup was rough only because the paints are so, so thin. But we got it done. It's okay. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of see what happens here. Okay, as far as glimmer, we do have some. The only thing in here that had any kind of glittery substance was the Grenache. And I'm just going to sneak us over here to the middle so that we can see. Look at that. God, I love Grenache, y'all. Woo, woo. Love it, love it, love it. And you can get your this little piggy Grenache at fluid-art.co. Look at that. We... I don't know, you know, how much will translate into, there we go, you know, glimmer outside of the color, but I think there's going to be some. So anyway, I just, I did, whoa, I'm glad I splattered that extra on there. I don't know, 
you know, I just don't know. We're just going to see. I've never done anything and got this darn many pearls before, though. So, yeah. We got our little glimmer. We got our pearls for days. And I'll see you when it's dry. Hey, guys. I'm so sorry. There will not be any dried results today. Um, I got kind of behind with painting. I thought I was doing one thing, and then I wasn't doing that one thing, so I was doing something else. So anyway, no dried results this time, but I will show them to you on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh, and also, if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button, like this video if you like it, and leave me a comment and tell me what you think. I'd love to hear from all of you. And for those of you that already do, mwah.